What would you encourage uh, men? They're, they're going, they want to go through a transformation. They want to put their fitness together, their finances together. Is there any, any if you were to pick one skill set from every, these three, the, the faith, family, fi finance, you know, pick one from each category, what skill set would you have them focus on, improve on, wrapping up this year and going to the next? I think for faith first, to yep. me, the easiest way to get in is your daily devotional, right? Your time with God. Okay. So for me, that's my first thing in the morning. Yeah, so right. if it's 3 o'clock, 3.30, whatever, I have my routine. I have prayer time. I have my devotional. I have scripture reading, and then I read um, before I go to the gym. So from that standpoint, then I'll call my family. My family, to me, I'm always like people say, hey, you're selfish, whatever, you're up, blah, blah, blah. But it's not that. I think like if I can't have my time, mm -hmm. then my family time, I, I'm not going to show up as the best that I can be for my family, for my people at work and other things, right? So my family time is always going to be, I always drive him. I made a thing since he's been born. I always drive him to school, drop him off, et cetera. Then I head to the office. And then at the end of the night, like we talked about before, I'm always going to be putting him to bed, right? So yeah. 8, 30, 9 o'clock, that's my time with him. Um, date night every week with my wife. I told you, I've been married 26 years together, 30 years. Um, again, just you got to make like, that's my queen, right? It's my princess. So yeah. she needs to feel like that. And again, it's, it has to be time with us alone, um, outside of the kids and stuff, because it's great having kids time, but I need that, that time with her. Um, from the fitness side, you have to make a decision. Okay. And again, don't. But let me stop on the, yeah. the, the devotion standpoint. Like when, when I say the devotion uh, and I and read scripture, What's the attitude? What's the disposition you have in approaching the Bible and yeah. open up Scripture? So, what do you what expect from God? To yeah. So for me, it's I, I like people say I want to be discipled. I think from the standpoint is what people maybe have a little bit backwards, and maybe it's only my own opinion. I think God does not look for disciples. I want to be an apprentice, right? So how am I looking at how am I living the best I can be? to the way he lived, right? Yeah. And the, the things that he showed and different things. And then at the end, it's like, hey, I'm hoping that I've left it all here, right? And yeah. um, done what I need to do. And so for me, it was at the start, I think, like looking at, hey, what's my purpose here? What's my calling, et cetera? But the devotional for me helps me get into different things, right? And if I'm, I also use scripture a little bit differently so from an, from an anxious standpoint, or mm -hmm. if I have different things, I'm gonna go read different passages. Mm -hmm. um, and again, I've done a lot of different Bible studies on different, chapters and different um like so a lot of different things I still go to bible study once a week right now but um for me that's how i look at it and every day i'm trying to whatever my devotional is i'll have a different scripture typically at the bottom right that i'll yeah. dive into yeah spend probably the next 15 20 minutes um Love I'll it. probably read it once or twice go back through but um yeah. Yeah, so it's amazing. I, so, so uh, faith. What about fitness? Was one thing you can. Yeah, so faith and fitness. I would say you got to make a, a decision, right? And again, it's not a decision. Oh, yeah. Well, when I'm going to do this, it's like you just got to put your foot down, and make that decision. Once you make that decision, even if it's just starting to walk, right? Like if you're not where you want to be, then take the, the steps. And I'll call it like it's not just hey, if you're 300 pounds, you want to be 200 pounds. You're only going to celebrate when you get to 200 pounds. Right. Celebrate those little tiny incremental wins, right? Good. And you got to understand as well. There's no magic pill. There's no magic potion. Okay, it's you're going to have to put in the hard work. And if you can't hold yourself accountable, you have to find someone else that can hold yourself accountable to mm -hmm. that, right? And understand that like. You're not going to accept excuses. You're going to put in the time, rain, shine, whatever it is, whatever you told yourself you're going to do, hold yourself to that word. Yeah. Okay. Because if you're not doing that, who are you cheating yourself? If you have a family, you're cheating your, your, your wife, you're cheating your kids, you're cheating yeah. everything else. Yeah. And if you're a man of your word, you yeah. shouldn't be going back and doing that. Right. Sure. So, um, and I'm a big believer, like if, if you've created wealth or you've created this ultimate body that you want, you should be to take that discipline and put it across any other area of life. That's right. And if you're not, then what's that one thing holding you back? Is it mental? Is it, what is that? And you got to really identify that. And then once you identify it, you can go to work on fixing that. But there's no, I'll call it excuse in my mind, if you're this, why you can't have that same level of achievement right. throughout the other areas. How you do one thing is how, how you do everything. everything. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so so we got- And finance. Let's talk about finance. So finance, I think it's <laughs> first, probably not listening to the, the masses. Um, I'll call it from an investment standpoint, from business decisions, anything. I'm never going to listen to anyone who's not in a position that I would want to be. So if I'm, I don't, someone's going to do my investments, my insurance, whatever, right? If they're not in that position that I want to be in, mm -hmm. I'm not going to listen. I'm not going to take advice from broke people, okay? Sure. And I think um, you have to define your own definition, as I mentioned before, of risk. And I don't just mean financially, but from yeah. business decisions. Um, but again, and savings not, not always the best way so so many people say i'm saving this money and stuff but you always have to have your money working for you right. right so it's yeah. looking at like it's a currency correct it's a current and it has to keep it. flowing because yeah, right. if it doesn't keep flowing it's going to go away so yeah. um 
again, looking at that, and then also from the standpoint for me, it's it's a big giving, right? Like yeah. it's I think a lot of people don't they believe like they're stingy. Okay, they're gonna hey if I, I don't have this to give, but I think whatever you give, God's gonna bless you with, and you're gonna see it come back in some form or fashion, depending on how you you set that out. I love it. I love it. Stop.